So here's the JBL PRX518S, it's all just been repaired, I'm just testing the power. Someone asked me to test the power, and so here it is, you can see it's set up here. Uh, power light, signal light, the signal's coming at the moment, seeing the green light is on, see that? And then underneath there is the limit light, okay? So what I normally do is to put the an 87 hertz sine wave in at um, 1.5 volts peak, Actually, no RMS 1.5 volts RMS input into the XLR input with the volume down, and then turn the volume up until the uh, limit light comes on. Okay, um, and then take measure of the power and make sure everything's working. Uh, the load is really a hundred watt load, so I can only run it for a few seconds at maximum chat, as it were. Otherwise, it'll uh, melt my load resistors. They're just a big uh, ceramic. The resistor is a little bit of inductance but not as much as a speaker cone but it's a good measure and then you can see on the um i'll do two runs on this i'll do one with the power run and i'll do the other one uh you know, the power run showing the yoga gal power meter would be very accurate and that's the power measured in the load actually and the other one i'll do a run and you can see the waveform and see if it clips or not it does start to, when the limit light comes on, you can see some bad um, misshapen part in the lower part of the sine wave, but honestly, you wouldn't notice that on a bass cabinet because that's a harmonic, and the harmonics are above the frequency of the cabinet and the speaker and the cone. So, you know, this isn't a very high fidelity amplifier because it's for bass. The, ba the bandwidth um, is claimed, the 3 dB bandwidth is 52 hertz to 110 hertz. So I've stuck this right in the middle at 87 hertz. So there's an 87 hertz signal coming in. And um, I'll just do the one run now on the um, on the power meter so you can see. So if you keep your eye on the limit light, I'm gonna turn the power up for a few seconds until the limit light comes on. And then we'll note the, measure, the actual value on the uh, power meter, okay? So here we go, we're gonna turn up. See the power coming up, 26, 30 watts, 32 watts going up and up and up 285 watts and the limit light is on off now so we've got 314 watts so it's a 314 watts coming out okay so it's not a 500 watt as uh, specified it's a 314 watt amplifier driving into four ohms which is the spec for the speaker now if we just do that run again and you can have a look I'll hold this by hand so hold by the camera by hand onto the scope and uh, crank up the power until the limit light comes on. The bottom two traces are the two half uh, output wires, basically. Obviously the power uh, meter is in series with the load and the power meter is sending, sensing the voltage across the load, okay? So this is a true power meeting meter. This is a true, this is a true power meter reading in the load. And the top line is A minus B. So that's the uh, actual, the purple line at the top is the voltage actual across the speaker outputs because neither of them are naught volts you see so you have to do a differential calculation inside the scope so let's just turn up the power until the limit light comes on you can see them coming up see the power and the load going up and we're limiting now so you can see yeah the bottom um the top part of sine waves is pretty good but the bottom's looking a bit iffy actually but it's not clipping that's the main thing so it will go higher, so we've gone up to 700 watts. No, sorry, we've gone up to five 500 watts there. It's 500 watts, so it will do it. So it'll start um, showing the limit light at 314 watts, and then obviously you can turn the gain up and it will go to 500 watts. So it could be capable of 500 watts RMS, okay? So this unit is working fine. So. I thought you you might find that interesting. If you can uh, just leave me a like and subscribe down there. If you're not already subscribed, then you'll get to see more. So uh, to to recap, the PR8 P the JBL 518S PRX 518S limit light comes on at 314 watts on this model, and it will drive up to 500 watts RMS. Okay, so I'm not going to drive it beyond that because it's. Uh, my load will melt so if you found that interesting then uh, please just look down the bottom corner for the subscribe button and uh, poke it if you're not subscribed and uh, 
leave me a like because it motivates me. So cheers. I hope you found that interesting.